Okay, so in this video I will show how to use the camera for astrophotography. An important step is that we have an exposure control cord which plugs in to one place. We use this control cord to avoid shaking the camera by pressing buttons on it while taking exposures. So all the exposure will be taken just by pressing this button on the camera. Number two, the lens has two switches it has to be in manual focus mode MF and image stabilizer off. These functions would not work under low light conditions with stars. Um, there's a focus setting on the lens. 80 millimeters is the widest angle, shortest focus. 55 millimeters is the longest focus, which is the narrowest field of view on the sky. Right? Um, the camera has to be set in manual mode. The way to set the dial is you press the button in the center and you can turn it around. This is P um, and all kinds of other modes which are not very important for your photography. You have to set it to manual mode. Um, and then you can turn on the camera. And here on this panel on the top, uh, we can set up um, the exposure time and the aperture and the sensitivity. So the three important parameters of the camera are exposure time, how long are we going to expose, sensitivity or ISO, how sensitive the camera is, and the third one is the aperture. There is a diaphragm inside the lens and that can stop down the amount of light that falls on the camera if it's too much. Okay, so let's go through each of these. Um, let's start with ISO. If you press the ISO button and then you twist this dial around then the ISO changes from 250 or 200 up to 1600 or even more. I recommend doing most nighttime photography with ISO 1600. The camera should be set up in that way. If you're doing photography of the moon or the dawn and the dusk sky or something else then you can change the ISO to something else. Smaller ISO means less sensitive. Higher ISO means more sensitive. Okay, so that's number one. The second one is the aperture of the lens. The aperture of the lens is set just by this dial here and it's shown by that number there. 5.6 means the focal ratio of the lens is 5.6. That means the diameter, the real diameter, divided by um, the focus. All the way around, the focus divided by the diameter. So the, the bigger this number is, the less light comes in to the lens. F11, F13, F15, F16. This means that this aperture inside the lens is getting gradually smaller and smaller. Okay, and finally, the exposure length, that's eight, eight seconds right now. With this top dial, I can change it from anything from one second up to 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the longest one we can do. Um, if you want to do a longer exposure than 30 seconds, and you have to come back here to this dial and change it from manual to bulb mode, B, and from here on, it will take as long an exposure as you want, as long as this button is pressed. Now if you're lazy and you don't want to hold this button pressed like that, then you can slide the exposure control cord and that will keep the button pressed as long as you want. And then you release it like that. Um, 